So hello my dear brothers and boys, in our today's brand new video, Man of the People will rule Russia. You heard me right boys, today we are going to play as the Russian Republic and we will create a united Russia. It's not gonna be a typical Russian campaign, because it's gonna be dedicated to Denikin, one of the main white generals in the real life, who denied any territorial disintegrity of Russia. His main slogan was Russia, one and indivisible. And today we will complete the dream of the Russian general. So with that being said boys, uh, let's start our campaign and as always, enjoy. Boys, can I really recommend you to learn more about the Nikin and armed forces of South Russia. By the way, his forces have almost reached Moscow in 1919, but they did not make it. Smirna! Готов! Готов! Smirna! Готов! A troubled history, that's about Russia. So Petrograd as well as Moscow have fallen in 1920 and Constituted Assembly decided that we need to form a new Russian Republic. So it was established and for more than 15 years it still exists. But Republic has got a lot of problems and a lot of controversial sense in it. We didn't get any stronger for last 16 years and the situation in Russia is getting only worse and worse. So something needs to be changed right here, right now, in 1936. Of course, Kerensky will die. A shot that will ruin across the world and will change Russian history forever. Oh, and as you can actually see, I've got the based military stuff. Denikin, Drozdovsky, Romanovsky, Dragomirov and Manstein. Uh, Manstein is like a fifth wheel, but don't care about him. Probably we will change him later. But those four boys are based. That is our future team to rebuild Russia and restore her borders at least of 1914. Um, um, you know, life imprisonment. Yeah, 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 announce snap elections. We will do that for sure. Who the fuck needs those elections? Because I don't need them. Oh fuck, we lost Alasharda. They declared their independence. But they will be punished a little bit later. What about recovering from the Black Monday? We will initialize the Senate plan. Cause, you know, supporting leftists in our today's campaign is not a good idea. Our first reform is gonna be devaluation of the ruble. Increase taxes. Bill collector would be proud of us. Um, for some reason, Germany invaded Poland. We didn't announce snap elections and as a result, military coup did it. Now General Kornilov rules Russia. Workers strike in Petrograd. Just shoot them. We shall deal with the insurgency. Hmm, dealing with Petrograd uprising. Arrest Red Generals. Dealing with the Petrograd Uprising X2. Hmm, we can try to arrest leftists with the NRPR help. Savinkov, it's your time to destroy leftists. Good night, left side. And Petrograd Uprising was crushed. Victory of the Roths. Rossiyski Obshevoinsky Soyuz, or in English, Russian All Military Union. Russia has only two friends army and fleet based. But don't forget about Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Right after this you will receive this event, the Denikin Wrangle Conflict. Of course you can ally with Savinkov, but that's not the main idea of our today's campaign. Mm hmm. Rumors of a monarchist plot in the military. Well, you see, our bruder Drozdovsky is a monarchist. He is a huge fan of monarchy and restoring monarchy in Russia. Hearsay isn't justification to remove talented officers. So monarchists will remain in our army. Cause they are great guys, they don't have problems with us and we don't have any problems with them. And Savinkov is just Savinkov. Savinkov raises uprising in Tambov. So now I have to deal with his uprising right here. Hmm, investigate Wrangel's ties with Ukraine. Shortly after the October Putsch, it was Wrangel who worked with Pavlo Skarpatsky's Ukrainian state and still remembers the hetman fondly. Soon after, however, he resigned his post and joined the Nikan's armed forces of South Russia. 
saying that he will not serve the German occupation. However, there are rumors that Rangel, from the family of Baltic German origin, can be secretly a German spy that has been delivering data to the German intelligence. We must investigate this case. Oh, that's a really interesting question. Wrangel is a secret agent of Ukrainians. If we take a look on that from history, well, uh, Wrangel recognized Ukrainian existence and Ukrainian identity. Meanwhile, Denikin said that um, Ukraine it doesn't exist at all. Ukrainian state is just a circus with clowns in it and they should be a part of Russia again. So now you understand why Denikin has this position about Wrangel as an Ukrainian spy in the Russian Republic. But those events in balance of power, it's a masterpiece, really. The utilization of Russia in Kaiser Redux is just amazing. Um, what? Don Republic demands formal recognition. Bagayevsky, you were my friend back then in 1918 and 1919. What the fuck are you doing right now in 1937? My dear good old friend, it's not a good idea to do that. Forming cabinet of ministers. The peasant marshal will lead the government. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you that Denikin was born in Poland, he is half Polish, half Russian, and he was raised in a peasant family. Meanwhile, all high-ranked generals and other military staff were from aristocrats. And Denikin proved that a poor boy from peasant family can become a general too. That's why he is called the peasant marshal. He and his family were just the typical citizens of the Russian Empire. But unfortunately, in March 1937, at the age of 68, Kornilov died. And now Field Marshal Denikin relies the conservative officers. Ok, fate of Russia. Denikin will be proclaimed as the supreme ruler of Russia. And we have switched to his focus line, the peasant marshal. And our first reform is gonna be establishment of stratocratic government. Oh well, the Alashardar Russians are oppressed. The Kazakhs have overstepped the mark. This means war. At first they declared their independence from us and now they oppress Russians on their territory. It is unacceptable. So question of Kazakhstan will be finally solved. Denikin shows to the whole world that he is a strong ruler. He is a real worst of Russia. That wasn't a big problem for us to solve Kazakh question. 3.5 million people have returned to Russia. Oh yeah, didn't tell you that population of Russia at the beginning of our campaign was around 91 million people. Um, okay, Turkestan decided to declare war on us. I didn't expect that, but well, Central Asia is gonna be cleared in 1937. I mean, fully cleared from all of those separatists. Central Asia is secured. Fordlandia. Um, okay. And Henry Ford rules it. I've never seen that Henry Ford can rule any of American Civil War fractions, especially Constitutional American Republic. If you know how to bring him to the power right here, please let me know in the comments. Cause the whole America is gonna be Ford's factory after that, after his victory in the Civil War. Oh no, Finnish Socialist Workers Republic has joined the Third International. Now it's 200% that we will have war against the Third International. It's time for our expansion. Holy shit, this icon is based. And our alliance will be known as Moscow Accord. First since first, the question of the Don Republic. We need to finally get our access back to the Azov Sea, after that to the Black Sea. Russia needs to be a dominant power in the Black Sea. In the future we will also gain access to the Mediterranean Sea, but that's a question of year 1940, 1941 or even later. Norway wants to join our lives. Um, that was a surprise for me, but I'm always glad to see Norwegians in my alliance. Yes, they be a valuable ally. Welcome home, Bruder. Um, I don't know why, but any decisions about Don Republic have just disappeared and I did nothing, so let me just declare war on them. Meanwhile, Transamur plunged into chaos. Stupid Kalchak. Rostov and Novocherkasks are successfully liberated. Minus Don Republic. Cuban Cossacks are gonna be next. 
what to do with Kaban? Start consulting with Ukraine? Seriously consulting with Ukrainians? Hell no, man. We will start sending agitators. That's what we should do. Oh wait, Mongolians are fighting against everyone, so we can easily solve Mongolian question and also conquer East Turkestan pretty easily, maybe conquer some Mongolian lands, so rest of my army will go to the East to solve Mongolian question. Um, we can demand Tuva, so let's do it. Kuban in three days is real. Border clashes in Tuva, so we will fight with Anhui clique or Mongolia anyway. What a strange name for Mongolians. But okay, let's just start our attacks right here. Well, Kuban was captured in a week, not in a three days, but that's just a details. So this group of forces with Drozdovsky and Romanovsky will continue all of operations right here on Caucasus. And my next enemy is gonna be Mountain Republic. I'm sorry, Mountain General, but I have to destroy Mountain Republic. Oh wait, I choose to attack Buryat Mongolian state. I don't know why did I do this, but okay, now we'll have war against them too. I hope that everything will be fine. Oh wait, we can just demand their integration, maybe they will agree. What about Mountain Republic? We will declare war on them. We don't know anything about any autonomies in Russia. And Buryat Mongolians agreed. Now we should solve question with Provisional Republic of Siberia. I'll justify a war goal against you. As you can see, Fort didn't make it. Goodbye, Mountain General. My next stop is gonna be Georgia. Georgians want war and they will get it. Anhui Click is officially defeated. So that's how Mongolia was divided. We have annexed Mongolia and East Turkestan. I'm really glad about those results. Now we will go and liberate Far East from occupants. Meanwhile, Georgians are almost destroyed. Next up is Armenia and the Baku oil fields. First of all, let's solve the question of Azerbaijan, because they are fighting against Armenia and Iran at the same time. And Iran can also take some of their lands, and I don't want that to happen. So first of all, Azerbaijan, then Armenia. And Ottomans won't be attacked, because they have joined Austrian alliance. So we have just declared war on Azerbaijan. And at the same time, let's invade Yakutia. Azerbaijan is mine, everything is fine. Next up is Armenia. Whoa, July 1979, French community has invaded German Empire. And we don't give a fuck about that, cause nah, we will deal with them later. Maybe in 1940 or even in 1941. That isn't my headache right now. My main headache for now is Far East. Yakuts were annexed peacefully. That's a victory of Russian diplomacy. If I retake Transamur without any war with Japanese Empire, that would be perfect, cause we'll retake Ahotsk and Kamchatka later. Cause I still want to retake Sakhalin, but it's gonna be our headache in mid 1940s, not in 1939. These damn Japanese lapdogs shouldn't exist. Everything is great, the NKU declared war on us. That means that we won't fight against the Japanese Empire right now. Armenia is gonna be next. Oh fuck no, we will fight against the Japanese Empire. Well, if they want to fight against us right now, we will do it right fucking now. Minus 6 Japanese divisions in Kamchatka. In the next few days we will reach Vladivostok. Armenia made the right choice. We can obviously see that Japanese army doesn't want to defend Korea. And that's better for us. Oh yeah boys, we have liberated North Korea with their capital Pyongyang. Japanese empire doesn't care about Korean peninsula. Bye bye Japanese garrison in Korea. In the end of the Denikin Sokostri line, we will restore Duma, or just Russian parliament. Denikin unites Russia. Quote of the day. In the minds of honest Russian people, the happiness of the motherland can't be acquired by dismembering it. True son of the motherland. Antonu Ivanovichu изменили портрет. Интересно. So Denikin's portrait was changed. Greeks have agreed to join Moscow Accord. Welcome to the club, buddy. Iran has also accepted our invitation. Our alliance is getting bigger and bigger. Question of Belarus. Let's research it. Um, let's try to invest in a pro-Russian coup in Kingdom of White Rutinia. Oh yeah, baby. Belarus became our puppet. Based. Now our positions in Eastern Europe are way better. And Finland transferred Karelia to us. Another victory for Russian diplomacy. 
We're truly winning it, boys. NRPR has transformed into National Union of the New Generation, or in Russian it sounds like Национальный Союз Нового Поколения. What a good goal we've got right here, Pribaltica, pro-Russian government that has annexed Latvia and Estonia. They truly need to unite with us. I'll send my tank divisions to destroy them. Japan offers peace. We accept their terms. Mukden has been arranged. Now Everson looks fair. Plus we also got Korea. Baltic boys just can't stop offensive of our tanks. Just for fun, let's try to get part of Manjuria for free. Lol, they accepted to give Northern Manjuria to me. For real. I didn't expect that, but well, now my border looks even better. Thanks, stupid Fintian government. So Japanese empire was crashed and Fintian government was crashed. And now those Japanese lapdogs will truly lose this war against the Chin Imperial Authority. Serbia, Serbia, Serbia. We are also glad to see you in our alliance. Um, as you can actually see, French communists aren't doing good enough. Germans are pushing them too far away. Plus, I have prepared my army, I have prepared everything. So it is the best time and the best opportunity to crush the Rex Pact. Oh, well, they won't make it, cause just look at the amount of Ukrainian forces on the border. Road to Kyiv is free, so we need to use the chains. The same will happen with Lithuania, Poland and Germany. Four days has gone since our invasion, Yusivka or Donetsk is captured, Kharkiv is captured, we are fighting uh, near Kyiv, um, Lithuania has almost capitulated, soon we are going to enter Riga. And we have also entered the German territory. Strategic position of Ukraine is catastrophic. Um, I'm not scared about Austrians and I want to declare war on them too because we are going to enter this war anyway. So in 14 days we are going to start war against them too. And don't forget about Ottoman Empire which is a lie of Austrians. Now everything will be even funnier. And I think that common arts aren't gonna make it. They are too weak to hold the whole front line plus Britain is collapsing, maybe it's for the best. Oh, maybe I need to conquer Finland. Anyway, let's declare war on them and Norwegian soldiers will work with that problem. Hell yeah, boys, now everything will be even funnier. My forces are just going here like a wall, they will cross the whole Eastern Europe, then Central Europe, German Empire, Austrian Empire, Hungary, Bohemia, everything else and then we will move to the west and capture not only Republic of Italy but Commune of France too. Since the beginning of the war it has gone only I guess two months but we have fully captured Eastern Europe, Poland and we are getting closer and closer to Berlin as well as to Vienna. By the end of the year we will enter Paris. Four months have gone since the beginning of this war and we are going right to the Rome. Road to the Rome is free. No one wants to defend this glorious city. Um, what two communists have capitulated? Um, my question is Finland. Everything that I want to take is Finland. I understood that after the capitulation of Commune of France they will capture Union of Britain, but not so fast. Oh, so Germany has annexed Finland. Okay, we got it, we understand it. Germans will capitulate anyway, so that's not a huge problem. And just look at this insane scene. In the next two days, Austria has capitulated. Austrian alliance is successfully destroyed. And another one encirclement of Rex Pact forces, but now near Italy. Bye bye, Schnitzel's ally. Oh my god, Berlin and garrison around it is encircled. I will name this video Russia Liberates Europe because just look at this. It is the new European Union which is based in Moscow. Soon we will destroy Bulgaria and Romania too because I want to take Bessarabia and some more regions, but that's not the main topic. Finland, the very last big part of the Russian Empire, which is now gonna be in the Russian Republic, is finally back to the motherland, back to home. Spain and Portugal are mine now. So I have conquered everything, everything is good, you can see that I have created a great European Union, I need to fix some problems in the Balkans, but that's not the main point. The main point is that somehow right now I'm in the war against the whole Entente. But who cares about war against Entente, seriously? 
Since March 1943, war in Europe has officially ended up, and we have liberated like really lots of countries. I don't know why, but we can't liberate Portugal, so forget about Portugal. So this is NATO plus European Union 2-in-1 Russian edition. Now Moscow is the capital of Europe. I don't know why our capital locates in Petrograd, because I choose Moscow is our capital. Forget about Petrograd. Moscow is the real capital not only of Europe, but of the whole Eurasia. Only Switzerland, Netherlands, Ireland, Denmark and Sweden have left neutral in Europe. So that's the true one victory of Moscow.